Welcome to yet another session of On Common Ground. Today my guest is Kendra Sherman. Welcome, Kendra. Thank you. Kendra, tell me where you're from. I'm from Austin, Texas. And how did you get to Sacred Heart from <laughs> Austin, Texas? Um, I was looking for a school that wasn't in Texas because I've lived there for most of my life. And Sacred Heart was kind of like a last minute decision. I applied mid-April and found out beginning of May and I came up here and I talked to Dr. D in the bio department and she convinced me with the bio program as well as the honors program but the chapel was the biggest thing for me having that That's on campus. Great. Yes you're very much involved in campus yes. ministry I see you on Sundays all the time. Yes. Tell us a little bit about why you like the uh, team ministry. Um, it's I get a big sense of community everyone there is very welcoming and it's definitely grown since my freshman year there are five people on team and now we have over 30 so it's nice to see how it's grown over the years and we're very welcoming to people of all faith and that's very important to me and what what do you do as a member of team ministry I have a couple roles so I run noon mass so I make sure that all the ministers are there they're trained they're ready to go and then I help run the retreats that we put on throughout the year you're a biology major, but yes. you're now switching. Uh, yes. Let's stick with the biology. How did you find the biology program um, for you? So I was really interested in genetics in high school, and I loved the DNA and how things work in the body. So Amazing. I wanted to find that at a school. And so Dr. D, she is in charge of the genetic classes. So she convinced me that it was definitely worthwhile coming here. And I've loved every single science class I've taken. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And now you said recently you've changed over to higher ed, you really would yes. like to do. And uh, why the change? I fell in love with residential life. So I applied my uh, the end of my freshman year and I was hired during this summer before my sophomore year. So I've been in it for three years. I'm now a senior RSA and I've worked with first year students and I love helping them with the transition to college. Um, I've fallen in love with the job and I want to continue doing that or something related to helping students after. So what, what are some of your duties or responsibilities? So I run the honors floor. So I have 43 oh, nice. residents this year and I also, I also help manage a staff of five uh, other RSAs. So I help them with programming, um, I support them and assist them with their residents, uh, with the other staff members. And then um, I take them to events on campus, I help them with homesickness. Now when you came here, did you know anyone? Uh, no, absolutely no one. And how was that transition for you? Um, it was perfect for me. I was looking for a new start, and I have found people that I call my family. This is my second home. And That's great. Yeah. That's great. Now, um, I think I may know the answer on this, but I ask it anyway. Uh, um, you've been here. You're very involved in a variety of things, and academically, you're, when you were doing the biology, it's a, certainly a rigorous program. Mm -hmm. um, so where did you like to hang out to relax and feel comfortable outside of your room? <laughs> um, honestly, campus ministry, but uh -huh. specifically Devin McCormick's office. Sure. She's a fellow Texan and I immediately bonded with her. So. Oh, that's great. Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't realize. Where is she from in Texas? I know Devin, I didn't realize. Um, Amarillo? I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. That's great. So. Um, and the, the last question I ask everybody, and I, I, I'm always intrigued by the variety of answers. Um, in a word, how would you describe Sacred Heart? Growth. Um, I feel like we've definitely expanded, not only with the amount of students we take in and the buildings, but we provide opportunities to our students to grow and develop into the people they want to be once they graduate, and I feel like I've received those opportunities myself. Have you experienced that, would you say, in your own reflection on, on your own time here? Yes, definitely. I think the biggest thing was my study abroad in Ireland. Oh, so, so you went to Dingle? Yes, I did. For a short period of the, uh, the semester? I did two weeks uh, during the summer, but I stayed for two more months to work at the aquarium there. Well, uh, thank you, and uh, obviously thank you for what you do for campus ministry and ministry team. Um, and enjoy your last few months. Thank you. They'll go by fast. It will. They really will. And good luck for the future. Hope thank you, you so find much. the right spot for you. Thank, thank you. you.